and welcome to Demon Souls. I am your host, Final Dream, and today we're gonna get started. Uh, we're gonna just pick a simple name for this character. Um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Trying to get used to PS3 controls again, because God, it's been a while. All oh, right, how to switch it like this. Uh, we're gonna actually be starting off as a Temple Knight. Uh, appearances aren't that important in this game, so definitely, ah, uh, that's good. But yeah, this game is absolutely wonderful in my opinion. It's the, the game that got me started in the entirety of the Soul series and the Bloodborne. King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon's soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garo Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Uh, we're gonna play the Journey to the Nexus. It's a tutorial area and um... Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Okay, um, as I was saying, we're going to, um, go through here because, um, I want to go over the character's backstory and why the character decided to 
go to Volatalia. Um, that's what I'm gonna try and do a bit differently with this, um, game. With the Soul Series, is I'm gonna try and do more of a roleplay. And since this is the tutorial area, I'm gonna, you know, try and... Explain through what I'm going through with the thought process, I guess. But, I know I named him FD, um, for Final Dream. But, we're gonna go with his name is Jack. Um, don't know why, I like the name Jack, but, yeah, that's what we're gonna name him. Yeah, still getting used to everything, but yeah. Now, as you know, I picked the class Temple Knight for him. I was gonna pick something along the more lines of the Priest, but I did not think that, um, I didn't really want to start out with something like that. So, I wanted something that had a better weapon, I suppose. But yeah, we've been sent here by the church, the temple, the, or the faith, is maybe you want to call it. But yeah, that's why we've been, um, to find the sixth saint, Astora, and her bodyguard, Vinland. Um, we're going... Now, I can't remember if they know in-game if they know what happened to her and the bodyguard. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, that's what we're going with. Um, this guy is a character, a man of faith. Yeah. I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about through this since this is really my first time doing anything like this. So, it'll be an adventure for all of us. And we're going to try and find St. Urbane. If I'm... Anyways. You! Oh, I was so sure that I got the parry. Anyways, yeah, Jack here is on a mission to find the sixth saint, Saint Astora. Nice, there we go, that's what I wanted to do. And another reason I picked the Temple Knight class is, I rem oh, remember the... The Halberd was always one of my favorite weapons in this particular game. Uh, I can't really say why, but... I like the moveset, I guess. Nice. Usually I have too much trouble with this guy here. Right. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to say for the moment. <laughs> it's the tutorial area. It's pretty boring, and... I know it very well since I always play through it. Now, the biggest issue is gonna be um, the mini boss that's coming up. Mm, excuse me again, guys. Sorry. Give it a moment for stamina. Ooh, great. And these guys always drop the same things every time, I believe. There's like nothing random about it. Now, are there jump attacks? No. Okay. Something I. I've been playing. It's been so long since I played Demon Souls, so. Yeah. Alright. Let's get on. Right, let's just top ourselves off with some crescent moon. Now we do have a talisman here that we can use heal once because that's how much mana uh, they give us for this. Come on now. 
This guy's pretty easy, you know. Nothing to write home about. But, you know, for a first time player, this guy's gonna be, you know, insanely difficult because it's like, what the hell, what do I do? I've only been thrown up against small fries to this point. Alright, he's gonna... Oh, I dodged way too soon. Oh, fuck. Honestly, I thought I was gonna do a lot better than that. Oh, well. I mean, the only thing you get... Well, is a few upgrade stones and a view of what's going to be what you're going to face later on so it's not much Trying to remember, can we? I probably should have read those out loud. I was not thinking about that. I was just thinking, do we actually get to see the uh, maiden in black? No, not yet. Okay, let's talk into the crestfallen. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls. Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the archstones. Now, go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed voletaria. Now, um, one of the things I just remember what I wanted to add to his backstory, Jack's backstory here, is, um... The reason why he was chosen to be sent to Baltalia to find the saint was because he's not, while he's a man of faith, he's more of practical, he's whatever means to win. So that's going to be kind of like his um, flaw, I guess. You came for demon souls? Okay, or we heard that already. We're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm hoping to develop more on that and develop him more as a character rather than just me talking over him. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Yeah, that's one of the things about demon souls here is that everything counts towards your weight. And another thing, you have item burden. Unlike with the Dark Souls series, where you can basically carry every item in the game infinitely amount of times. Yeah, you're limited here. Rest assured, your goods are safe and sound with me. Best of luck to you. Alright. Okay, we already came, heard all of this. I came to, right. I and he will be the last one we talked to. Uh, You're new here? Do you hear for my services? My name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. 
Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons, or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? Not a bad deal at all. Unfortunately, we have no way of upgrading right now. Yeah. No entry, I can tell you. Not oh, he also sells items. We should probably... Eh, we don't need to look at that right now. Alright. Oh my. How has this happened? Has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, mm, Masa. Masa. Okay, that's all she has to say. Umbasa, yeah, that is their faith. I, well, not their faith, but their prayer to the faith, I guess. Like, amen. But yeah, that's all the time we got for this episode here, guys. Actually, let's end the episode right down here. Yep, down here. That's where I totally wanted to end it. Alright guys, I will see you all in the next episode where we begin our journey.